the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, God bless you. Hey, I appreciate you uh, uh, joining in and taking a look at our, our videos and the session that we deal with today. We, we had a good session on the 6th of August uh, dealing with, the, and I'm giving the title in a minute, but I just want to sit there and say, God bless you and I thank you for your support. Don't forget to subscribe uh, and leave comments if you want to leave comments. And we're going to go ahead and break these sessions down from A to G or whatever it needs to do to complete it. And we'll try to post them on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, YouTube. Uh, those who subscribe, you get notice when we put them out. Uh, those we use by text, we saw a video, we'll send those out on, on Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, but I really encourage you to take a look at this because I mean, I tell you, man, this is a great subject today. And let me tell you what the subject is here. The title is interesting. Let's talk about the fact is that uh, I don't see nothing with a timer on it. The top of the fact is, do other gospels give more authority to steal, kill, and destroy? When we talk about the fact is there's only one gospel, but people have used the title of Christianity, title of their belief system, to justify another message of kill, steal, and destroy. Our faith, which is in Christianity, talks about loving one another and of the salvation of all mankind if they receive and they believe. But that's that's the choice they make and God gives us a choice. But there's others who manipulate the scriptures, pervert the scriptures, and try to use it to do things to, such as, and I call these categories in John 10.10, 10, to steal, kill, and destroy. So that's what we talk about. We use Galatians uh, 1, 6 through 10, and John 10, 10, and Philippians 3, 12 through 17. I encourage you to take a look at and read those scriptures uh, for yourself because it's very important. But I did put down here, let me go ahead and, and uh, show the, that foundational scripture, which it says in Galatians 1, 6, I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of the Christ grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another. And that's the whole point. It's not another gospel. But there be some that trouble you and will revert the gospel of Christ. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which you, that which we have preached unto you, let them be a curse. As we have said before, so Say, I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, than that which you have received, let him be a curse. For I do now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. Think about that. That's why we're talking about the fact is that we're going to show some historical records, uh, and I, you'll see in a few minutes, where... Uh, People have gone to, and this time, the biggest ministry of Christianity at that time, back in the 1400s, 1500s, 15th century, uh, was the Roman Catholic Church. I'm not putting Catholic Church down. I'm not putting, I'm talking about the, the individual who was in charge at that time. Not now. And not the whole history of the Catholic Church. But those that were in charge at that time wrote letters to justify slavery. And that's why people sit there and say the Bible justifies slavery. No. People did. And people did it using another gospel. Why I said another gospel? Because Christ didn't teach us that. That's not in the teaching of Christ. That's not a teaching of to steal, kill, and destroy. That is not the teaching of Christ. Amen? And that's what we want to be saying. So, I hope you enjoy this segment that uh, you're going to listen to this session. And, and the whole point is, people manipulate and try to pervert the gospel to do bad things. And I'm asking you to not let people anymore pervert you to do bad things, but to love one another. Because we're all children of God. 
and we all have the right to have, <laughs> to live in peace, not in torture and pain and oppression and, 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 and discrimination. We, we, don't, we don't need that, amen? So I hope you enjoyed the session. I did extend this, so I'm gonna cut it in some more. Hope we're gonna break this down to A, B, B, to G. But God bless you. And just remember, Jesus, Yeshua is Lord. Yeshua is Jesus' Hebrew name for Savior. God bless you. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, people, uh, welcome to, to the uh, our Sunday session. And, and I do want to encourage people to not to take the, the lessons, the discussion we have and share with other people. And I'm talking about, you ain't got to share the video. I'm talking about share, go ahead and have discussions about what we talk about in the scriptures that we're using to with one another. Iron sharpens iron. Uh, there's a lot of people that don't even know some things about the scriptures. You can use forms like this, not just ours and other church, other ministries too. Share and discuss that with one another. Uh, because you can't do that too much when, you know, like you talk about a big congregation, right? You just, you can't carry a conversation <laughs> to discuss what that person was saying doing or teaching, right? During the session. Uh, but we should encourage people to do that after service, during the, out the week. Uh, just like we talk about the news, we look at the news, right? We look at TV news and we discuss it. We, people discuss uh, what's going on with the the insurrection or what's going on with the the, the president has been indicted and all that stuff. You talk about that. Well, that, I'm encouraging you to start talking about topics that, that, that are covered in your church service. Uh, well, the way to get an understanding is to come Monday mm -hmm. gotten off work and spend an hour going over what was taught on on that day come on now Sunday. yeah oh you know, and, and you can do it over the zoom or you can just do it over the phone oh you know and and just to have a conversation based on what was taught and how you received it and what you think of it and then mm -hmm. uh, if there's any other scriptures that you may have written down when you were taking notes yeah that god put on your heart or, you know just but it is, I think it's this format is imperative for growth. Yes, sir. For, I, for understanding and for perfecting. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and because you, I remember sometimes people would sit there and some of the people that don't believe will quickly be able to sometimes bust a, a fellow believer out by saying, well, what did they talk about? And then, hey, look, and, and bro, some of them be like, well, what did he talk about? Yeah, that that means, <laughs> you know, church was good. <laughs> it was good. What are you talking about? Uh, uh, <laughs> and, and, and I think that's why you wanted, we said for you, just listening now, that, that I will listen, is talk to this, talk about the scriptures throughout the week. Just can conversation among each other. And then maybe sometimes, I, I remember, when I was uh, starting to grow into the things of God, I, I, Brother Addison, you guys had the office, NCO club, we had the officers club. And we have had, I have met, I remember when I first left, went to OBC, Office of Basic Course, uh, where we had some breaks and we're in, in, in the uh, officer club. And we was, carrying, we was doing what we were talking about. It was a couple of us were just talking uh, about, the gospel, the understanding of the gospel. And and one time when I looked at one time, it was it was surrounded by a whole bunch of people while we were just talking about the scriptures. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's amazing. People be, you know, it's like, hey, it, when we first saw all these people were around, they had a little <laughs> their little drinks or whatever, with beer or anything else. And they were just it was just relaxing, right? We we, we had classes for the week. Uh, and you guys, you did that, right? When y'all had the NCO club, y'all just, it was a, it was a down time. Mm -hmm. It wasn't NCO club when you started off in, in the, uh, what, IT school or whatever you call it? You were just airmen or whatever. Yeah. But then y'all had, had a place to go to wind down. 
So how was that? What what kind of form was that? Y'all did all kind of discussions, didn't you? Well, yeah, we, we you talk about uh, problems you was having. Come on now. About the, uh, the the technical courses you were taking and the instructors and uh, well, they can't can't wait to leave. <laughs> you yeah, know? you talk. Yeah, you I know, know, I know. Your, your near future to get up out of there. And, yeah. Uh, I think I think a lot of cases too. We, we and we talk. You also had other discussions from sports, uh, relationships. Uh, you know, I was a people who came from different places and had relationships. And some of you talk about upon marriage. You know, going back and getting married. Right. I'm just saying it was it was a forum for letting down your your hair, whatever you those who had female that hair, the men that had hair back then. <laughs> But it was it was hair back then. <laughs> I read they cut all the hair, right? <laughs> right. But we we we, did, we basically was freely talking and engaging, and 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 then I was just saying is there were some cases we talked about scriptures and people were listening to you. Some would act like they some would get into the conversation. Some would just listen. I don't know. Have you ever been in a situation where that happened? Where y'all talking and and some people start gathering around and. That ever happen? Yeah. Yeah. So when uh, uh, Ern, was it Herms? He fought Hagler or 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 Sugar Ray fought Herms or Hag. I can't remember what it was. It was a big fight. Uh huh. And uh, we had a uh, I think it was like a hurricane warning there, so everybody had to go into the the secure location. Okay. We were all in the middle of the building and, and that fight had happened that night. Mm. And so we were all in the middle having this discussion about the fight and, you know, and the crazy thing is, is the, the fight was the fight, but everybody saw something different. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. What, did Ray won that fight, didn't he? Yeah, she Ray won. Yeah, but it was Marlon Hagler or something. Hagler, like that. yeah. Yeah, and he was tough. Yeah. She, 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 a Ray looked like a, uh, a, a, you know, like a small mini Muhammad Ali, yeah. and Hagler looked like, matter of fact, like a Joe Frazier, basically, yeah. Yeah. with a power. And then you, you almost like Sugar, Sugar gonna have to move around on this one to take this guy out, and he was winning. The other one I'm talking about, I ain't talking about that fight. I'm talking about seven says that guy was winning a lot of fight. Yeah. He was knocking out a lot of people. I don't think Ray was known to knock out, was it? He he was known to outbox people. Correct? Yeah. He wasn't known for knocking out. I think Muhammad Ali was not known for knocking out people. Yeah, it was Iron Mike was known for knocking out people. Oh yeah, that, that was that was his uh... <laughs> that, yeah, that was his mantra. That was his yeah. that was his 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 uh that was like it ain't no need to buy tickets to go see them <laughs> because you're only going to be able to see a minute worth of fight. <laughs> I, saw, I saw one where the other day the guy just quit. He said, I ain't going back out there. You got to go back out there. I ain't going, I ain't going back out there. <laughs> he, he, took, he was a big boy too. He was a big boy. But the point is that discussions, we have discussions about everything else. I'm just encouraging people to have some discussions over what you heard in your church service. So you can reinforce that information that was given to you because that's what, that's how you learn. You don't have a, like I said, the, the actual church service is not a forum where you can discuss those things. You, you or it's more like a receive mode thing, right? Yeah, you sure can't just, you know, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, exactly. That you can't. That word saying. <laughs> <laughs> Or, or did you got a revelation from what the person just said, yeah. right? You, or you can you expound on this? You people could you you, you can't do that in that yeah. forum. You say, well, what about this scripture? Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Or, or hey, I thought about another. Yeah, like what about this scripture, right? So, so I do encourage people have the discussions uh, throughout the week of the thing that you you learned and shared in your church service. And I just encourage you, if you listen to this and you, you got some out of it, discuss it with one another. Amen? So so what we want to talk about today uh, for most of you is, is, I think, is a very interesting topic uh, that I want to share. 
and we're going to go into our discussion with, uh, it's, it's, not, it's not a pleasant uh, discussion. Let me, let me stop for a second. Before I do that, I got to put the title. I got you and I, you and I moved away from the, yeah, there it is. Now I'm going to share. This is the uh, topic we're going to cover today and this week. And I think, well, I'm pretty sure you, we're going to get some type of, con I get people that talk to me, uh, Brother Addison, throughout the week about some of these soft topics, which is, which is good. Mm -hmm. I, I, I do I do like to try to start bringing topic where it captures people's attention. It said, do other gospels give moral authority to steal, kill, and destroy? And the script I'm coming with was Galatians, starting with Galatians 1, 6 through 10, John 10, 10, and Philippians 3, 12 through 17. It's some of the scripture I want to focus on. But the fact is when I and the reason I want to bring this type of subject is we see and people see because the you know the Bible says a tree is known by his fruit. Uh, and that's that's gonna always be the case. Uh, the tree is known by his fruit. And when people see people who profess to be Christians uh, murdering, killing, stealing, taking uh, from other people, and yet they profess they are Christians, you, you have to ask yourself, where did they get that authority, moral authority, to do bad things? Uh, we talk about the people that's in prison that beat up people that are you know homosexuals so we talk about people outside of prison that will beat up homosexual or beat up a, or a jew they go after people to go after a jew like germany you know in that that war hitler they went after jewish people and yet they called themselves professed themselves to be christians well we talk about the slave trade and, and the crusade and the sale of witch hunt you know all these things that people feel they have a moral right to do and trying to say, where did you get that from? What gospel, which is called the good news, did you get that from? And that's what I want to be able to talk about uh, this session. And and feel free to leave comments. Don't forget to subscribe <laughs> and, and, and share the video too. We, we want to share it and, and have open conversations about it. So this is a question though. Uh, do other gospels give? Because I'm telling you right now, and, and Brother Asher tell me, just make sure we remind y'all, I'm telling you right now, the teaching of Christ does not give you the more authority to steal, kill, and destroy. That, we are Christian, we're believers, we're professing Christ as our Lord. So we're trying to tell you that the gospel that we're told to preach does not give, the teaching of Christ does not encompass steal, kill, and destroy. But yet people cloak themselves as Christians and then advocate and participate in steal, kill, and destroy. So we want to understand about these other gospels and does who spread these other gospels? Are, they, are these Christians? Well, let's find out. <laughs> so let's go with the first one. And also, I always do the Lord's Prayer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and cover that on the, uh, when I do my editing to cover the gospel, uh, the Lord's Prayer. But I do want to go real quickly. To, and the main thing I always want to focus on on the Lord's Prayer is the fact is that he said, what is that, Brother Isaac, in verse 10? Thy kingdom come. Mm -hmm. Thy will be done in earth as it is in the heaven. Christ taught the disciples how to pray. Christ basically taught all of us, pass it on what we call the Lord's Prayer. But the fact is, the Lord said, do it, pray in this manner. And I think the key ingredients is who you're praying to, the Father in heaven, and his will being done. And, and the only way you're gonna know his will is you study the word of God so that you won't do things such that we just talked about in this topic, to steal, kill, and destroy. Is that his will? That is not his will, people, not in the teaching of Christ. Uh, so 
remember, you want to pray daily and you want to pray to do His will be done. Just like Christ did in the Garden of Gethsemane. Christ had then said, you know, if this cup can pass, let it pass, but nevertheless, let thy will be done. And I think in our life, we need to get to the point of saying, let His will be done in our life. And, and saying about the forgiveness, and that's I love, like about the scriptures of 14 and uh, 15, is talking about the fact is, for if you give me the trespass, you're in the Father also give you. But 15 said, but if you give me not the trespasses, neither will your Father in heaven forgive you. And that's very critical for believers to understand you can't be taking out retribution and all that other stuff. You need to learn to forgive people. I ain't telling you guys to forget. I ain't telling you keep dealing with the same person and do a bad thing, but forgive them because you, it's for your benefit, not somebody else. I do understand that God, one of the biggest wills I see in there is for, uh, 1 Timothy 2.4, who will what? Go ahead and read that for us, Brother Asa. I'm sorry. Who will have all men. Mm. Come on. And come unto the knowledge of the truth. Of the truth. Even after, I can look, you can even change that of the truth of the gospel. The full knowledge of the gospel. So we don't preach any, what God, look, look. So we don't preach any other gospel. Yeah. Because we come to the full knowledge of the truth of the gospel. That, that's his will for all men to be saved. So anybody's preaching something other than that, you 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 you're off track. You're not trying to do God's will. And then the other piece is in Romans 14, 12. What's that, brother? Every one of us shall give an account of himself to God. And, and any significance about that from your perspective? Because because. Yeah, what would you think about that? <laughs> hey. Uh, hey. The sad thing is, there's no need to try in a lie. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Not to God. Yeah, I mean, to someone who's all knowing. Yeah. I mean, right. And, 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 you, and you're not going to be able to use somebody. You can't say what Brother Addison told me I could do. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, your child won't be able to say, well, my mama taught me that, or my daddy taught me that, God. My political party taught me that, right? Uh, my ideology or whatever background I came from gave me the, because I think, look, matter of fact, that goes right back to saying the topic. If it gives you the authority, a moral authority to steal, kill, and destroy, that's not the gospel. No, it's not. It's your it didn't work for you and you got to give an account to it i think that's the other piece too right it's for everybody to say you still got to give an account to god for that uh and then exactly did i not tell you did you eat what he said he, he, he straight up wasn't it it, we're talking about those you don't know what referred to Adam and Eve back in the book of Genesis chapter 3. You know, he said, who told you it was that yet? <laughs> did, you, did you eat from that? Did you eat from the tree that I told you not to eat from? He didn't even answer that. That woman you did. <laughs> which, which is what, I, look, which almost I think is an excuse that people will give. Yeah. They think they'll be able to give. In the end time, let's come off this for, before that. I said, you know, say, what's that? Galatians, what six seven? Be not deceived. Come on, God is not mine. See, that's what you're talking about, right? Yeah, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also. Woo, now, hey, look, people, come on, y'all. Let's, let's be real. What we don't spend, we just showed is the fact is that you all got to give an account of yourself. To God, that, and in that scripture Galatians, I'm gonna keep that one up with this slide. I put the Lord's prayer in there, right? Which I use that to, to emphasize the fact that His will be done. I also emphasize the Lord's prayer is talking about daily, right? Give us this day our daily bread, yeah. which is the Word of God. He wants you to Don't get the Word of God. God. Come on now, <laughs> it's not promised for one thing. It's not promised. No, no. It's going to have issues for itself. <laughs> exactly, exactly. This day. This day. And get through this day doing His will. 
get to this day understanding thy will be done. And what we just read was the fact is that he wants all people to be saved. So any of you sit there aside to steal, kill, and destroy, you're going against his will. And then they use it like a lie, you're going against his will because he wants the full gospel, the full knowledge of the truth. And then I like the fact is that he's going to tell you, you have to give an account. Every last one of us is going to have to give an account of himself to God. And you won't be able to say, somebody else told me to do it. I thought I could do this. I heard you can do this. I, they told me this was more important. And God can sit there and say, what did I tell you? What was my will for you? Because you call yourself a Christian, right? That's what we talk about, right? There's a difference, isn't it? <laughs> we ain't talking about children going to the promised land. We ain't talking about that. We talk, and then they they didn't do what happened. How come they got kicked out, brother? They, they kicked, look, the bad thing about it, they went in to, 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 to kick people out who reached the level of, of, of transgression. Hey, man, God bless you. We, once again, I, I really enjoyed the discussion that was done this week for this Sunday, um, the uh, 5th or the 6th of August. Uh, and, and, and you really need to take a look at this and, 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 and analyze the scripture, see? And I'm gonna talk about the fact is that there's people today, as well as documented history of people preaching, teaching, authorizing another gospel. And what I mean another gospel means is that our gospel is, which may stand for good news, is to love one another. Our gospel is that God sent his son, his only begotten son. And I ain't talking about, I'm talking about his spirit, the spirit of Christ. His body came so that he can be and die for our sin. You, you can't kill God, amen? But you can't, God sit there and put himself in the flesh, incarnated for the flesh, amen? So the point I'm saying is that the gospel is that God sent a savior for all mankind, for all mankind to be saved. And that's, that's the teaching of the gospel, and that all of us can receive it don't mean we're going to be forced to do it. And that's another thing about it is if you preach a gospel where you can you force somebody to be a believer, then, then you're not preaching the gospel. The gospel is an invitation. The gospel is a gift. And you don't make people receive a gift. You offer the gift. And for us as sowers and believers, we continue to preach the gospel so people can understand it. Amen. So I, I think you will love this. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to uh Leave comments if you, if you want to make comments. Um, but just understand, these sections, these sessions are designed to help us grow. And I also encourage, we talked about earlier, is don't forget to use whatever you did in this our sessions or what you heard in your church service. Don't forget to go out and discuss that with your fellow believers or for people that's not a believer. We don't go to we don't go to ministries just for ourselves. We go for the ministry to grow and to, to spread the gospel because that's the calling that we're supposed to have, amen? So don't forget that. I just encourage you to use our session, our platform, or any other ministry platform. If they preach and teach the gospel, use that as discussions throughout the week so you can grow and other people can learn from it as well, amen? I just encourage you to do that, you know? And I put that here, the scriptures, it says, no other gospel, which is in Galatians 1, 6, said, I marvel you so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ and to another gospel, which is not another. But there be some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel to you, then that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. As we said before, so I say it now again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you than that you have received, let him be a curse. For I do not, for I do now persuade men, O God, or do I perceive or seek to please men? 
For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. So that's that's basically what we're trying to cover. And we talked about it, some great discussions. So I hope you enjoy the, the uh, session that we went through today. And uh, we will see you when we see you. I'm gonna break this down in about from, from A all the way to G if necessary, uh, for you to look at, analyze and study. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you when I see you. I bless you. I appreciate you listening. I appreciate your support. And continue to do what you believe is right. And continue to lift all those up in prayer to preach the true gospel. Amen. God bless you. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you when I see you. All right. God bless you. Bye-bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.